this is a great opportunity for her as a freshman to go up against this tough offense. And, and the first pitch from Langdon is in there for a strike to Sierra Briggs. And Langdon rocks and fires and catches the outside corner. Called strike three, so a good start for the freshman. Kentucky wants to be one of the first ones to break up the perfect season. This one hit well the other way, and that's going to drop down for a hit for Newland. So the first hit of the day for LSU belongs at first base. 3-1 from Langdon. That misses outside, and now 2-on for the cleanup hitter, Gutierrez. 1-2 pitch. And going down looking is Gutierrez. That throws her. Seventh pitch of the at-bat to Rudity. 3-2, ground ball. Left side. And got it in time. Coffle over to Borzilleri to get Kentucky off the field. To her, it's that curveball that she can spin, that little bit of an off-speed curve away. That's a good pitch. Ooh, what was that? Yeah, just off the plate. You just want to go straight attack mode. And, make and she do does. Like that. With Austin Wasserman and strengthening the arms. Trying to avoid being swept here by LSU at home on opening weekend. And that one is hit sharply to second. Gobbles up Danielle. And safe at third, diving back is Mitchell. 3-2 to the number nine hitter. And again, poke foul. Oh, they're going to call her out. Here's one more look. Apparently, Tobias was out of the box. Keep an eye on her foot. Yep. Yeah. Two balls and a strike to Briggs, who went down looking at first time up. She's going to slap this one to left field for a base hit. And that is the third hit of the day for LSU. 419 batting average. He's the best on the team. Briggs gets to second base uncontested. She was so good. It, it's almost irreplaceable. Seven to six. That one is below the knees. It's a walk to Gutierrez. So two on with two out. You're back, but pitchers being able to throw in those close ball games with confidence. Spray to left, diving as Smith can't make the catch. Briggs is going to score. Line drive by Rudity. And now this one gets away from Hamilton. Gutierrez to third. Three hits in the series for Bajara. That's in on the hands. Langdon dives, can't make the catch. A run is going to score for LSU as Gutierrez comes in quickly from third, and it's 2 nothing Tigers. And she'll take it. Fly ball. Another chance here for Riley Smith. This is more of a routine play. Dig too deep into exactly what's being done because I can't take away the success that she's having. Good inning for Raylan Schaefer. Three balls and no strikes as Sidney Langdon has been in trouble a couple of times in this ball game. One of the two freshmen in the starting lineup because of injuries. And she places one into left center field for a base knock. Julio's going to stop at second. You got to try to figure out that piece. Bunnett. And the third baseman, Lorson, flips across. At bat here for her third. Fly ball. Left fielder Nesby, fresh into the game, makes the catch, tagging, and the throw at home. In time, got it. Jaleo is out trying to score. Grace Lorson, Delaney Sullivan, the scheduled hitters. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. Second year at Kentucky, a transfer from Indiana. Ground ball, and that's going to get under the third baseman, McKee. Hamilton homered off of her on opening weekend. And she's got great power, and she shows it here. This one's going to skip off the wall and left. Rounding and diving back to the bag. That's Sullivan. Off the fence out there. Ebbs on corks to right, left feet, right center field, and that's going to get down for a hit. So Kentucky gets on the board with a couple of big blasts to the outfield. And we're tied at two. Um, see the big smile on Taylor Ebb's face. She didn't even start this game. Offense generally just comes around 
when the pitching and defense is good. Now with that said, Donaldson strikes out to end the inning. That rides in and hit her. As a freshman, the poise of Line trust. Drive. That's going to get down for a hit. So here comes Kentucky. Sidney Burzon rocks and fires. Comebacker caught by Burzon. The throw to second not in time to get caught. But what a great play by the pitcher, Sidney Burzon, to keep that from going back up the middle. Trying to interfere. Now back up the middle, and that's going to be a double play to get LSU out of the inning. Wow. Mercy, what a beautiful play by Taylor Pleasance. Just one pitch. Back to back, it could have gone sideways. As that one swung out and missed by Kelly Lynch. Weather has been brutal this weekend. Back up the middle, that's going to be a tough play. Koffel gloves it and has no throw. That's going to be tough. Koffel again has no play. Two on, one out. Allie Newland is due up. Pitch calling, but she still does it for Schoonover. This one is crushed to right. That's going to get down for a hit. One run is going to score. And LSU goes back in front on an RBI double by Allie Newland. I want to still find a way to get in the hitter's head. Woster, 3-0. Walked her, and LSU adds another one. It's 4-2. 2-2 to, two. Two, two to Rudity. Line drive to center. That's going to be a tough play. Diving catch by Sullivan. But another run is going to score for LSU. That was a beautiful play in center field by Sullivan. One for four Friday, one for three yesterday with a run batted in. She's got a couple of hits today, and she's got another one. And the bases are loaded again. Macy Bajra swinging a hot bat, her third hit today. Played in the game last night in the field. Swung on, this could be a tough play, and it gets down for a hit. One run is in. Two runs will score. As Carly Petty blows this game wide open, it's now 7-2. to I think that was going to be a base hit no matter what. And so Lynch. Comes up for the second time in the inning, and she delivers a hit to center. And it's 8-2. to two. Dig in a little bit of a split grip. Struck her out. Got a throw to first, and that'll end the inning. Struck her out. One down. And foul ball, and then takes her screw ball out. Look at Carissa Hamilton coming unglued and hits it off the scoreboard. A solo shot here with one out in the sixth. Maybe going to spring some life back into the Kentucky lineup. Third home run of the season for Hamilton, her second extra base hit of the day. First pitch. This is a rise ball up in the zone, but it just bleeds over. The heart. She has a team high 13 on the year. Led the nation in walks per game last year. This one is sharply smacked into center field. It's going to get all the way to the wall. That's a leadoff double for Aaron Koffel, and here comes Kentucky. Burzon's 3 2. Strike three called, and Nesby knew it. Two down. Plot's got the start, her second career start. Ground ball. Could end the ball game. That's going to be a tough play. The shortstop throws. Not in time. Pleasant has a great arm, but not enough on it to get plot. So runners at the corners, and the inning continues. And again, the wind is blowing out. Ground ball. Left side. That could end the ball game, and it does. LSU stays unbeaten. The only unbeaten team in the country as they go to 22-0.